It goes without saying that increased automation is something we're hearing a lot about and seeing a lot of evidence about here on the show floor at the PPMA Show 2019. I'm joined by Dan from Omron to tell us about Omron's plans and to walk us through uh, an interesting story with uh, one of the probably one of the most eye-catching stands that I've seen in terms of uh, autonomous robots here so far. Dan, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, first of all, just tell us a bit about Omron. Yeah, Omron's a global automation company, Japanese-based. Uh, we've been in business now for 87 years, manufacturing a full range of uh, automation equipment, including robotics, control systems, motion sensing and vision products. And um, for which, which sectors do you tend to uh, deploy those technologies to? Yeah, we have some core target markets, so mainly based around food and commodities, yeah. uh, also automotive uh, and semiconductor as well. Terrific. Well, obviously, we're uh, uh, not necessarily automotive here, but certainly in terms of automation and, uh, and food and packaging and so on, you brought a story. You brought some of your technologies. Um, let, let's go through the story. And I think we're at the first station just here. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, so what we're trying to highlight on the, on the stand uh, is a way of flexible and agile manufacturing. Uh, so this is moving away from mass manufacturing, high volume, low product mix, uh, to lower medium volume manufacturing, but with a much higher variety in product mix manufacturing. OK, so uh, kick us off because we want to see we want to see some action from, from your equipment here, Dan. Um, wh where does the story begin? Yeah, for sure. So what we can actually do is load in a completely customized order. Uh, so basically, this order is unique and the system will go away and autonomously manufacture that component, a component to our specific requirement. So it's simple as loading in a new order. Uh, this could be fully automated. Uh, so it could come from uh, an ERP system or a web shop. Uh, I'll load in a combination, send that into the system, and then that gets queued in the job queue. And the system now, without any human intervention, will go ahead and autonomously manufacture that. Right, okay, so where do we start to see that? Start to see that happen? Yeah, there's a few stages in the process, so we'll, uh, we'll move on down to the first stage. So this effectively is loading the raw materials. So based on the order that we've placed, uh, the robot will automatically select the combination of raw materials that are required. Uh, so this is actually a collaborative robot. So as you'll notice, there's no safety measures around the area. And this can work in the same working environment as human beings, uh, fully safe. Uh, and it's effectively it's working and replacing repetitive manual uh, tasks that humans would normally uh, operate. It's one of the buzzwords of the last few years, really, isn't it? Collaborative robots, cobots. That's right, yes. So cobots have become usually popular. Uh, they've got a very high profile in the market. Uh, and yeah, this is another technology. So mobile robots are what we're using to automate the intralogistics tasks of the whole system. Uh, so usually where you have cellular manufacturing, uh, you'd usually have human beings collecting items and moving them manually between operations. Uh, in this instance, we're using mobile technology. So it'll sli slowly move off its guided path and it autonomously take uh, the components to the next process. Now, what I should say is that I got in the way of this robot earlier on and it very politely asked me to move out of the way, firmly but politely. <laughs> so well, where, is, where, where is this bot going right now? Okay, so the next stage of the process is actually to machine the component to the exact requirements. Uh, so we're not actually doing any machining, we're just simulating it, uh, but it will dock with the next process which is just here, and load into the machine. And once it's gone there, knowing what, what component we've ordered, uh, it'll actually machine the components to the specific requirements. So again, this is showing how you can have completely flexible manufacturing uh, and unique product within a completely automa automated cell. Nice, really like that. And again, as, as I've said a number of times over the last few days here, how you bring this equipment to these shows, set it up in such a short space of time, and then have it work. Hang on, I, sh I should say our producer's being chased by this robot over here, having to run around out of the way. Here we go. Where's it trying to get to? It's trying to get to the whiteboard. Okay, so, sorry to try and subvert the process. I would like to pass. I'm trying to do a job. Please move. Like I said, firm, but polite. Meanwhile, over there, uh, this this cobot's now chasing after our cameraman here. Mind out, Roger. Brilliant. Meanwhile, over here, we've got some uh, pretend machining going on. 
Yeah, so it, it's it, all good. It's basically simulating the machining process that's required. Um, but again, this process takes a, a few minutes. So once that's complete, uh, I can take you on to the next station and show you the next stage of the operation. Yeah. Let's pretend that there's some serious machining going on there. Uh, let's not watch that. Where is the next station then? The stage is over here. And this is actually uh, the penultimate stage of the process. Uh, so this is where we're actually doing some pick and place. So during the order, we selected some colors of buttons that we wanted to assemble. And this robot is, again, using camera systems, identifying the colors of the buttons and building the assembly as we've ordered it. I mean, I guess we see, we see autonomous vehicles on factory floors from time to time. We see cobots, we see arms. These all connected, these all interconnected, this end-to-end -end system from order placed online from your ERP system or from your web shop, and then the whole process automated uh, in, a, in a seamless manner, all the way to it being picked, packed, and uh, ready to load onto a pallet. That's exactly it, and that's one of the values Onmon brings, is because we have this breadth of product portfolio, which enables us to complete these automation solutions and realize the whole vision and the concept of what we're trying to achieve here. Really good stuff, Dan. Thank you very much for uh, showing us through some of the... Oh, hang on a minute. We've got another one of your, one of your bots walking around this time. Tell you what, we will, we will let that bot go wherever it is. There's one more station. Oh, there's, there's one more station. Right, OK. While the bot is making its way over to the station, I just want to ask you about the PPMA show and about, yes. you know, uh, obviously if you've got a very eye-catching booth here. Roger's about to get squashed by two robots here. We're going to get the firm but polite... Uh, hang, OK. Tell us what's happening here. So this is the final stage of the process. As with any manufacturing process, checking the quality of the product is important. And we're actually incorporating mobile and collaborative technologies in this demo. Uh, so we're using it as a mobile inspection station, uh, but actually it's bringing the best of both worlds together. So mobile technology, the flexibility, the dexterity, the mobility, and the collaborative technology in terms of being able to maneuver anything that we need to on top of the mobile robot. Right, I'm now going to walk around and have a look at this, not for the camera angle, but just out of genuine curiosity as to what it is we're looking at here with the vision systems. So, you've got a decent camera in there, a, a so-called smart camera, I noticed. Exactly. Smart about it. Uh, in terms of the technology itself, it's an inspection system. Uh, we call it a smart camera because all the components are embedded into the camera itself. So, it's a standalone system, doesn't require a PC or any additional hardware. There's a thing of beauty that you've got these two mobile robots walking around, meeting each other in the, in, a, in the middle of the floor rather than it just going to the station. No, exactly. And that's, that's the idea of them. Uh, they can work in a what we call a hive, which is essentially a, a, a combination of robotics to perform operations. But they all interlink together uh, and can be used to work collaboratively together as well. That one's just doing a little dance of joy there, having completed its job. A pirouette, no less. <laughs> Listen, that's, that's a really engaging demonstration. Thank you so much for, for chatting us through that and, and letting us stand in front of your robots as well. Um, in terms of the show this year, um, I take it you've been getting a lot of interest uh, um, and a lot of conversations starting out of this. Yeah, for sure. The PPMA is always an excellent platform to demonstrate these types of products. Uh, it gets a really great audience. A relevant audience and also the right profile of customer for our business and who we're trying to attract to these technologies. So, yeah, no, it's been very good. Brilliant. Thank you very much for having us uh, on, your, on your booth. Thank you for joining us on PBMA TV. And thank you very much for humoring me as I do some silly dancing with robots. <laughs> Thanks again. Cheers. Thanks a lot.